Hello, beautiful people. How are we doing today? So, yes. I ain't gonna be on face cam today, y'all. And I just don't feel like being on face cam, to be honest with you. That's pretty much the explanation you're gonna get. I'm not gonna, ex well, you know. I'll get on for one second. Hi. There, we're on face cam. Now we're back off face cam. So... Yeah, I just don't feel like bearing on face cam today. Just one of those days, y'all. Hey. Taking on BYU, and we're taking on New Mexico today. So. Let's, and then after we play the New Mexico game, we will do some more of the Nuzlocke in Pokemon Fire Red. So. Stick around for that if you'd like. We're going to take on BYU. Hopefully nobody got suspended again, bro, because we're definitely going through it when it comes to, like, our points and whatnot. I love how they call him Troy State in this game. Is it just Troy? Uh, we have another suspension. We have no points. Skipping out on exams is a serious offense, damn. We're about to get hoed. And Eric is the one who got suspended. We have no points to suspend him, though. Oh, well. Damn, we're about to get on probation after this season, y'all. I can already tell. Lord have mercy. Gotta give WWE an L here. NBA is having a celebrity game and they sent the Miz. I'm dead. I I feel like the Miz just gets sent for anything WWE has, like as far as like celebrity games or whatnot. Cause he's already he's always in like the made the MLB celebrity softball game every year, so I just think he's the guy they send. Anytime they need to send like an athletic guy or something like that. Beyond me. Alright, and here we go. What's up, BSG? How you doing, fam? Welcome into the stream. Alright, let's get him hype. Let's get him hype. We're on a three-game winning streak. Let's keep it going. Oh, come on. You gotta get that tackle, Willis. You gotta make that play. So, alright. I have a question for y'all. What's good, Asgardian? How you doing, fam? Y'all heard about this whole thing where people are now trying to blame EA and everybody who plays Mutt's, uh, Mutt, Mutt's, Mutt, for encouraging people to gamble and whatnot. Schwagerd, what's good, fam? It's been a while. It's been a hot minute since I've seen you. How have you been? But yeah, now the new thing is that people are blaming Mutt and whatnot, and like people who stream Mutt for encouraging people. Let's go, Fala. For encouraging people to gamble and whatnot, and for basically, you know, having people like pushing gambling addictions and whatnot. It's the craziest shit I've heard. And now it's just like these people look even more bad faith than they already did. I mean, that is just wild. Well, it's just been working your ass off. I feel that, bro. But, like, look. Let's be real. There's a reason I'm playing Madden 05 and NCAA 05 instead of Madden 23. Madden sucks now. I'm not gonna, You're not going to get any argument from me on that. 
But we're, you know, if we're going to blame EA for shit, we have to blame them for, like, actually not doing a good job of certain things. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're, we actually have to hold them accountable for actual things and not just because, oh, you know, screw EA, blah, blah, blah. We're just going to blame whatever and just be bad faith about it. No. Addi like, if you're going to blame EA for addictions, you're taking the power away from, like, addicts to get away from their addictions and it's like by saying that oh you know you're playing since you're playing the game since you're playing mutton buying packs on stream you're encouraging people to gamble i mean whatever happened to personal responsibility bro whatever what what happened to it's like do you blame gas stations for people having cigarette addictions do you blame bars and like liquor stores and whatnot for people having alcohol addictions? I mean, let's let's be real, bro. You you might say you do now, but it's like no, like you really don't. You know, if people are, are alcoholics. You blame the alcoholics for being alcoholics. If people have nicotine addictions. You blame the people who have nicotine addictions for having a nicotine addiction. So. Trying to fucking, like, you know, I get shitting on EA, 100%. But trying to blame them for people having addictions is just idiotic, bro. It's really, it's just dumb. I had to start follow here. Get powers out of here. Like, trying to blame EA. EA sucks and needs to stop. I'm not going to disagree with you. Or at least just get good at making them again. I'm not gonna disagree with you on that ESG, but it's like trying to blame them for peddling addiction is, you know, if you're gonna do that, you have to blame every single other company in the world for, you know, peddling addictions. Like, you know, speaking of alcoholism, let's go relish. Let's go. I'm not no, and I'm not, I'm not calling relish an addict, but I'm going to the NFL. So my bad, relish. I don't. I'm not calling you an alcoholic, my boy. But anyways. If, if we're gonna blame EA for peddling a gambling addiction, you know, by you're watching the NFL, the NFL is literally sponsored by Bud Light. You know, would the NFL not also be peddling alcoholism? You know, if we're gonna moralize about things like that, let's go, Bush. There we go. Bush is in the end zone for the tutty, baby. Let's go. Back to what I was saying though, like, if we're going to sit here and moralize about that type of thing, you know, we have to be consistent about it. And a lot of people are not being consistent about them moralizing about how bad of a company EA is and this, that, and the third. Oh, I'm gonna miss. Armin, don't miss it. Oh, you missed it. That's my point. It's like, you know, people can get mad at me for saying that if they want. I don't really care. But a lot of people are just being really inconsistent. Looks like that. The go that's the go-to play now. A hey, facts, J. Uh, DJK. Prime time. One of them drinks that pimp. Hey, I don't even know Spectre. All I know is that you got a quick play with me, bro. I'm just saying, like, if we're going to moralize about certain things, we're not worried about morals in this world anymore, sadly. We're just, I mean, we're worried about moral grandstanding. We're worried about, like, oh, you know, virtue signaling and whatnot. But we're not worried about being consistent with what we moralize about. So it's not even that, like, people don't have morals. It's just, like, we're not consistent about what we... We're not consistent with our morals. Where it's like, we'll apply it to one thing but we won't apply, apply it to other things you know the Harry Potter game is a great example of that everybody wants to say oh well playing that, that game is like you know if you play the game you're transphobic or you're anti-semitic it's like you know but oh let's play Overwatch and all of a sudden we're not we're, we're totally not supporting you know SA in the workplace or anything like that you know, Nike was literally created. Nike and Adidas and Puma were all created by people in the Nazi party. Oh, let's go 21. 
21-21. It's like... Then you got people eating Chick-fil-A still. Thank you, Spectre. Chick-fil-A is so anti... LGBTQ, it's not even funny. You still got, like, people of that community eating Chick-fil-A. So, because they make some busting chicken sandwiches, all of a sudden, we're gonna, like, them being homophobic is okay, huh? Like, if we're gonna moral, like, if we're gonna virtue signal one thing, you, you need to be consistent about what you virtue signal. And that's, like, you know, I'm not gonna lie, during COVID, I was definitely heavily in the whole cancel culture thing. I definitely did a pretty... Pretty, I don't want to say a good job, but I did a lot of like moral grandstanding and whatnot. And I'm not like I'm gonna hold myself accountable for that. Let's go relish. But it's like we more like you know we moral like people just pick and choose. I think Lucky put it perfectly. People just pick and choose morality these days. Like. And that's why people will never take things like that serious. That's why people will just label it as cancel culture. Because people can't even be consistent about what they moralize about. When you're in the it's room, like, come on, dog. If we're going to sit here and, you know, do all this, like, grandstanding or whatnot, at least be consistent with it. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying don't have morals. I'm not saying that, oh, you can't feel some type of way about things. I'm not saying you can't boycott things. I'm just saying if you're going to do all this and if you're going to shame people for whatever for not being on your side about things, you better be fucking consistent with what you're moralizing about in general, bro. Practice what you exactly expect. Practice what the fuck you preach. So it's like all these people are saying, oh... EA is promoting gambling, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Then you better hold the NFL to the same standard when it comes to them promoting alcohol during their games. And that, it's like, you know, just so I'm saying, it's not a political thing because people both on the left, right, and the center do, like, do that shit. Everybody is guilty of moral grandstanding, whether they believe it or not. Not everybody, literally, but it's like everybody on both sides, I'm saying. All right, come on, Harmon. There we go. 2K spins, exactly. It's like we just, we got to be more careful about the things we grandstand, or like we as a people grandstand about because... It is so easy to poke holes. And, like, you want to sit here and call them whataboutisms? Cool. Just because it's a quote-unquote whataboutism doesn't mean that it's not accurate. You know? Like, people want to, like, write off, like, you know, comparing, like, all these things to, like, the Hogwarts Legacy shit. People want to sit here and talk about, oh, how it's, like, you know, oh, it's a whatabout. Okay, it can be a whataboutism. Doesn't mean that they're wrong. It just means you don't want to hear it, bro. That's all. Because you know it's a good point. Like, the whole whataboutism shit is just so overused. It's like, yes. You know, you don't want to hear it because it's like... Because it's true. Uh, DJK. I uh, DJK. DJK. I'll just call you primetime. My fault. But I play on All American, but I play on certain sliders that make the game harder. Which is why I lost my first game, four games of the season. Oh my god, really? Number 84 with the reception. 17 yard game on the play. First and 10. I won't be playing Hogwarts House because I was never into it. My old ass already grown by the time the first movie came out. I mean, I that's the same thing with me. Like, that's literally the only reason I'm not playing the game. Like, I have no interest in Hogwarts, like in Hogwarts Legacy, because I didn't grow up reading or watching the Harry Potter movies. It just, you know, different strokes for different folks. It is what it is. Got to turn it up to Heisman. 
we're not at prime time. We don't do all that gatekeeping crap over here, bro. Respectfully, like I'm gonna play on the level I want to play on. You know, if you want to play on Heisman, you do so. Merry Christmas to you, bro. But I'm gonna play on the sliders I'm playing on because this is like the most realistic gameplay that I've gotten. Respectfully. Uh, I don't eat at Chick-fil-A because I never really did in the first place. I'm not doing anything special. I feel you. Everybody has their reasons for, like, not doing something. Like, it's like, again, if you don't want to eat at Chick-fil-A because they're super homophobic and transphobic and biphobic, then yeah, that's cool. But you got to be consistent with that. Like, there's not enough consistency in general with that type of thing. I'm not saying that there's no gray area either. I'm just saying it's like as a whole, you know, if you're not consistent with certain things, you know, your validity goes out the window. I've never been in a single one of those stores in a Chick-fil-A. When someone shows you their truth, believe what they're claiming. Yeah. Probably never will go to one. I mean, I've definitely eaten Chick-fil-A a good amount. Chick-fil-A is overrated. I know I used to work at one. The chicken is nothing to go crazy for. It's, like, not anything special, bro. Honestly. Like, I feel the same way about, like, the Popeye sandwiches. Like, they're, neither of them are really all that special. I'd get my guy psyched up the block out there. I didn't mean to. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. Popeye's better than you. I'd get the Their sandwiches are still eh. And let him get the first down. Third and seven. Damn it, Kaz. Bro, I fucked up. Ooh, that's a dot from Falla. Let's go. Like the fry, the fries from Popeyes are so busting though. They are busting off on them. When you're in the red zone, you're real close, but close is not good enough. You gotta come away with a touchdown right here. My man Austin, what's good, fam? Welcome back. Chicken is good too. Yeah, Popeyes definitely blows freaking KFC out the water though. This is where you just go with But I'm just saying, bro, like a lot of people are just very inconsistent. Like back when I was doing all the virtue signaling I was doing before, bro, I was really inconsistent with a lot of my views too. Looking back at it. Which is why I don't like try to morally grandstand like that. I have my opinions on certain things, people can agree or disagree with them. And like I said in like when I first addressed the Hogwarts shit, it's like if you don't agree with my if my opinion makes you wanna not be friends with me, bye. <laughs> Adios, bro. Oh damn. Because if it's that deep to the point where you, you know, because I disagree with you on something or you disagree, you don't want to be friends with me. Like our friendship really wasn't all that deep, was it? Chicken sandwiches are random as fuck, though. Yeah, sometimes they're really good. Sometimes they're just like mid as fuck. There we go. So Harmon misses an extra point, but he makes two field goals in a row. But it's like, yeah, like, if I'm not, like, I don't know. That hook on the FG, yeah, that freaking kick was annoying. Y'all making me so hungry for American food. You've been abroad for the last five months. I'm Pete, bro. I saw you were in, um... Were you in Portugal, like, during the World Cup, or were you in Brazil? I don't remember correctly, but I remember you, like, you were definitely not in the U.S. for a hot minute. Tragic. Hey, bro, I mean, honestly, I feel like the food abroad is so much better than our garbage-ass food, though. Like, I wish I was abroad. <laughs> not that, like, look, I'm not one of those people that just, like, shits on America 24-7. This country definitely has a lot of things to shit on, but it's like there's a lot to be thankful in the country for in the country as well. But I think both things can be true, and I think another problem with people is, you know, 
y'all will sit here and like shame people for saying anything negative like oh we'll go live somewhere like no they're not saying that we they want to leave they're just saying there are certain things that happen in this country that shouldn't happen in this country there are things that should happen in this country that doesn't happen in the country i don't think there's anything wrong like you know if anything those people love this country enough to criticize certain things that happen in the country or that don't happen in the country so it's like you know telling them to leave i mean bro like, that just means you're complacent with how things are Oh, get it? Let's go! <laughs> they completely botched that. Let's go, Snicket. Let's go. Bro, what the hell were they thinking there? I don't even make no sense. What's up, Eagles? And kind of a little rate. I mean, yeah. Again, that goes back to, like, there are things about the country that are great. There are also things about the country that absolutely blow. And I think it's okay to say that, okay, certain, these things are pretty cool about the country, but it's like there are also things that deserve to be criticized. Free, heartland of the free freedom of speech, you don't get that everywhere. Exactly. And that's one of the great things about the country. Like You can, you can criticize certain things you don't like about the country freely without getting a bullet put in your head. Which I think is an, one of those things that is great about this country. But. I do think that there are things that, you, you know. Are certainly. Like you're certainly allowed to criticize about the country at the same time. You know, this isn't a perfect country, which is like completely okay to say. Been to Portugal since September. How are you liking it over there, bro? So it was Portugal. All right. But it will be back in early April. Hey. I gotta get my passport. And no, I'm not gonna be one of those passport bros that leaves the country just to haul at, like, women from other countries. I actually want to see the damn world. Like, I want to see other countries beyond the US I think the whole passport th bro thing is hilarious like the whole discourse on passport bros because on one end I think dudes that get their passport just to, uh, like you know go Mac on like other women outside of the country like I think that's really like I think that's just like you know instead of actually becoming not like bad with women instead of developing some level of riz you, you decide that oh let's go let's go move countries so it's easier to holler at women like bro mm -mm -mm. people like that are cringe but on the same side I don't understand why people are complaining about passport bro like I get that those that some of those people are like can be considered like predatory like i get that part of it at least but but for them those who are just complete losers who like can't get with american women so they have to go across the country yo you already you getting rid of these fools bro like you already won you don't got to worry about these losers trying to holler at you no more so i feel like it's a double edged sword but People who get passport like their passport just to holla at women outside the country are weird. Ah, uh, that is just my two cents on it, though. Passport bros. Sounds like half the guys I knew in the navy. Oof. It's good, bro. We have the house here, so it's super clutch. Hell yeah. Portugal's definitely on the list of countries so I would love to go visit. Uh, women, though, sheesh. I'm, like, there are literally guys. There are literally men. Um... There are literally grown ass men who will get their passports solely to go see women from other countries, which is insane. 
because they can't because they can't deal with American women. They can't pull American women, so they go outside the country. There we go, leathers. We're in America. Imagine that exactly. Hey man, just coming in because I saw it earlier. Watching NASCAR, man. Craftsman's Truck Series, baby. I hope you're enjoying it, Nathan. The key here is making sure Definitely hope you enjoy it. NASCAR is not really my cup of tea, but you know, as long as you're enjoying it, that's all that matters, bro. As the saying goes, if you like it, I love it. Number two on the carry, no gain on the play. In this situation, most average midish dude I knew on my ship had this insanely attractive Korean wife, so I guess it works sometimes. That it does. Having a dusty old fuck moment, passport bro is really good god. Like, that's what they call him. I am man, about to go green. First race of the season. Let's go. Sure, I've seen so many Americans in Brazil for the women. Like, if that's the only reason you're... If you want to move to Brazil because you want to get out of America for a little bit, at least. And it's like, the women are just kind of a secondary thing for you. Cool, but it's like, if you're only going there to holla at, like, women because you can't get them over here. Nothing too fancy. Which, I mean, I don't know if the percentage of those people is very high, but there certainly seems to be enough of them who are like are literally verbalizing, oh, I can't get, you know, American women are, you know, have this standard, this, that, and the third. So we're, I'm going to move outside of the country, go haul that women from other countries. I mean, like, bro, like, that I definitely can see as predatory as hell. But at the same, but it's like, I don't think that it's a very high percentage of men who are doing who are actually doing that. If I'm leaving the country, it ain't just for the women. I'm right there with you, Spectre. Oh, so, what you mean, oh, sad prime time? Can't get one America. I'm saying, bro, like, like, I don't even believe that, bro. Like, oh god, that was a bad throw. Like I don't even believe they can't get one. It's just the ones that they actually that they want. They can't get the ones that they want. Type shit. That's all it is. Everybody's attractive to somebody. Like even my ugly fat neck ass. Like you know, has some women attracted to him. Some pretty attractive women, to me at least, attracted to me. So. If I have women attracted to me, like there's one, there's a woman for everybody, bro. Yeah, like Spectre said, if I'm leaving the country. It ain't just for one woman. <laughs> it's just it ain't just like to holler at women, bro. They're not getting the ones you want. They can be. That's probably what it actually is. Why would you talk bad about yourself like that, man? Eagles, you know damn well that self-deprecation is 100% part of my stick. It might not be acceptable in every community I go to, but my streams, I'm definitely going to talk my shit about myself because I, I actually love myself. I know I'm a handsome ass motherfucker with this, like, you know, I'm going to get my I'm gonna get my ribs in on myself. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't mean I don't love myself, so... Not getting the ones you want. That's probably exactly what it is, though. Like they, they're not getting the ones that they want. So now they're just gonna move because there are plenty of like really low key baddies who just, you know, I'm talking about like just not even like object, like literally just straight up, not even objectively, like just straight up hotties who are just like you know kind of low self esteem, keeping themselves. And y'all just y'all just ain't trying like. You know, one of my best friends falls in that category. She just never had interest in me like that, which is, it is what it is. If you, you know who you are if you're in here. I, I ain't gonna say your name or nothing. Low key bad, is exactly. It's definitely for third country, where one or third world countries, Western European women aren't impressed by just exactly. Like, ain't nobody, like, I'm talking about they flying to like. Philippines and like you know the Caribbean outside of like and just like the Caribbean in general like even like you know trying to fly out to like Haiti or Jamaica or something like that I mean ain't nobody trying to like they trying to fly to England to get some girl like nah 
Like, British girls probably got higher standards than American women do, if we being honest. Same thing with, like, or, like, they have equal standards. Like, same thing with, like, women in, like, Mexico. Or, well, not even... I don't know about Mexico, but Canada definitely. Like, can Canadian women, their standards are just the same as, like, American women's. So it's like, you know, y'all, like, maybe, like, people would rather just go get their passport than actually like, go see a therapist about, like, what's wrong with them. Or, like, get into the gym, like, do, or just do some push-ups and sit-ups at home. And, you know, it just shows, right? Like, they'd rather just move countries instead of actually putting in the work to be better people. You know. Says a lot, I mean, it just says a lot about, like, men who live over here, where it's just like, we'd rather spend all this money talking about, oh, let's, you know, I'm gonna move to a, di a different country because women over here don't like me. Well, bro, maybe you, I mean, it's not even like you really gotta get, like, that much riz. 100 push-ups, 200 setups a day. Facts. That's what I started doing for wrestling training, bro. Like that, and like, you know, just doing workout, like, you know, neck bridges and whatnot. Yeah, I'm trying to get more flexible as well. Oh, you probably gonna score it. Oh, he fumbled it! Oh, they got it back, though. Damn it. But nah, I mean, I just think that's super, like, moving countries because you can't get women is just sad <laughs> in my opinion i don't really like to think of women as like an object or some i just want but it's not like a whole thing to move out of the country bro exactly like i'm not about to move out of the like sure i've been single for quite some time like over a decade and like about a decade and a half now if we're being honest almost i'm not about to move the country move countries just because i can't pull women over here no, I'm just gonna work on myself, bro. Like, I like if if women are that much of a priority to, for you to move out of this, like, get a passport and move out of this country. I mean, you have to reprioritize your life, bro. <laughs> That's just like the truth of the matter, because you are putting women on too high of a pedestal if you are moving out of this country just to pull women. And it's like, you really got to get back into, like, your, like, you really got to, like, think about why, you know, women are that important to you. Like, you got to do, like, an, an analysis of your own life. You're like, oh, well, well, why why am I that, like, why are women that much of a priority to me? Or, like, why are people the opposite? Why are people I'm attracted to, or, like, partners, or just, like, you know, having relations with people... Why is that so high on my list of, like, priori priorities? Like, over actually working on myself and, like, you know, finding my passion. Like, you gotta really think about... like, I, And it's like, any passport bros who are in here, which I doubt any of them are gonna be in here. You know? I'm, I'm putting y'all... I'm putting you guys on game right now. I just let the players go out there and have some fun here. Because, I mean, if women are that, like, much of a high priority for you, bro, you got bigger problems than, like, pulling women, bro. Oh, I was trying to throw it. This is a perfect time for a pass. You got a few yards to go, and the defense is thinking run all the way. My butt. Oh, my God. Passport, bros. Totally, dude. I'm totally a passport, bro. Hundred and two hundred. That's more than military requirements. Good lord. Getting old sucks, bro. I'm right there with you, Spectre. Oh my god, really? Number four on the reception. Twenty-three yard gain. 
Yeah, I mean, that's just my whole take on the whole accountability, like, you know. The original thing I was talking about was the fact that people are starting to blame EA for people spending all that money on, uh, for spending money on, like, mutt packs or whatnot, and, like, creators for encouraging their, their, uh, viewers to spend money on packs. And my take is, we gotta be more consistent about the things we moralize on. Because y'all aren't keeping that same energy with the, the NFL for... Like, the fact that you want to play a sim NFL game means you want to support... Like, you want to, like, emulate the NFL. So, you realize the NFL basic... Like, with that same logic, the NFL pushes alcoholism onto people. You say that... You can say that about Call of Duty. Exactly, Eagles. It, like, the list goes on and on. Call of Duty, Fortnite... Gears of War, Halo, all them, bro. Like, y'all, like, you know. The only thing I dislike about getting older is the pain lasts longer when you get hurt. Facts. Yeah, people just cannot be consistent with things and moral moralize about. What's up, Clankity Clank? How you doing, fam? T Clizzle. Great game yesterday, by the way, T Clank. Good lord. You and fam. That was quite the game. And then the last second. Tutty. That's a bunch of yards to go for a first down there. Appreciate that. No problem, bro. Maybe you'll get lucky. Can I actually shout people out now? I gotta shout out the boy T Clank. T Clizzle Pimp Pizzle. Shout out T Clizzle Pimp Pizzle. There we go. I can shout him out. There you go, Clank. Oh, shucky ducky quack quack. Basically, I'm saying that they just care about money at this point. Yeah, and that's a fair criticism, bro. That is a very fair critici criticism, but the whole bullshit about, oh, they're. They, they're forcing people to spend money on packs. Like, no, people are doing that out of their own free will. The funny thing is, I'm the target demographic for the ultimate team. I just never play it. And then that's the other thing. Like, they want to talk about, oh, you're taking advantage of kids and whatnot. I mean, maybe the parents should be a little more involved with the, what the kids spend their money on. We're all honest, we will all choose to be loaded exactly. It's like, literally, there are so many other options that you can do if you want to play, like, a simulation football game. Like, there are literally mods for just about any football game that's out there, including the Legend Bowl. It's like, it's not going to hit the same as Madden, sure, but it's like, if Madden's so bad, go support Legend Bowl. I mean, I'm literally playing the game on my uh, on my uh, channel now. Or go play the older Maddens. It's not like EA is gonna get any money from like the from call from revamped or from an NCAA next or Madden next. So play those. Legend Bowl is a great game. It is amazing, bro. And I'm not even saying that EA should be the only game that. Ha that oh my god fall is hurt and i'm not saying that ea should be the only game that has like the uh much of it madden 23 looks great when you get on the sticks at salad pimp i'm hip bro oh my god no hey prime time if you're still in here you think i should still uh, switch to eisman Cause there ain't no way that's happening, bro. I'm definitely not switching to Heisman. I wasn't going to anyways, but now the chances of that dwindle even further if they could. Oh my god. You can create so many moments in that game on Legend Bowl, exactly. Legend Bowl, like there's so many options to play other games. I mean, it, 
literally soft drink just dropped a video on like your other options if you don't want to play madden 23 so people gotta watch that video oh pick it off i'm not switching to prime time that's dead money that's all i play on high NCAA football i said 14 but it may be harder on there yeah i'm definitely not i'm just i'm i have sliders on so really the difficulty doesn't all like matter all that much to be honest because the sliders are always going to be king anyways like look at this what's up jc how you doing fam uh, we're gonna accept it because i want them i want them to have a tougher time kicking the field goal I uh, can't wait for the new Maximum Football game comes out. I have I have a lot of kick-ass ideas. Me too, ESG. All right. How's things over here in 05 land? Uh, well, I was up 19 nothing, and now it looks like I'm going to blow another lead. I blew a 21-3 lead in the Bears franchise yesterday. So I didn't that prematurely. I don't think I'm going to end this prematurely. But I was up 19 nothing, and now I'm about to blow this lead as well. Also, the helmets can come off and the fans can leave and the team is bad and never show up in the franchise. I'm sharp. He missed it. Let's go. Gotta play revamped on hard sliders to even be a test. Exactly. This game's just hard in general. Especially using the team that I'm using. I mean, I'm 3-4 and four after losing the first four games of the season. Ball just hooked hard right. Right. Come on, Goran. Oh. Oh, come on, Goran. In this situation, you gotta trust. We're just gonna give it to relish up the middle. Come on, give me the face mask call, dog. Remember how fun Madden 05 minicamp was with the rock music playing? Wish EA would bring that back, but those days are long gone. I just wish they would bring more variants to the damn soundtrack. No way EA can make you lose this game, right? You already know how EA goes. Why did I just try? Right, nah, that was my fault. I pressed square instead of X. Really, really? Bro, get. Oh my god, tackle him. There we go. Are we talking about how much the soundtracks in Madden? Have, bro, now all it is is just trap music, bro. There's no variance in the soundtrack. It's like all the sa same sounding music. No rock music, no pop music, no nothing. Like, just rap. And it's like people have tried to defend it, talking about, oh, well, they're just trying to play into a, the demographic. I'm like, okay, so do you assume people that people who play Madden only listen to rap? <laughs> like, nah, bro. So I'm not biased or blind, no. <laughs> that soundtrack is ass. Like, literally... WWE 2K23 is going to have 12 tracks on it, and they already have more variants on their soundtrack. Let's go! Let's go, McCray. AKA to quote MJF, it's mid! We actually get to see MJF wrestle very soon as well. That, like, never happens anymore. Maxi pad. Jacob Friedman. Friedman. <laughs> oh, 05 and 07 were my favorite soundtracks. 06 was pretty good, too. Bro, I don't even listen to trap music. I'm, me neither, bro. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Powers, you're so bad. Come out throwing here. You know you got a ways to go for the first, so I just approach it like any other play. 
Alright, if Powers can't get a completion here, I'm putting Fala back in. Let's go, Bush. There we go. Oh, bro, if you would have blocked right there. If you would have given me a block right there, that's a tidy. As a coach, you gotta be concerned with what the defense Barely listen to music at all unless it's from a movie or TV show. At least 2K got a bit of classics on there. Facts. Why would you throw it that far inside, you jackass? Yeah, Powers can go fuck himself. It's fall of time. Uh, we need to stop defense. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Let's go, give me that. Let's go, Fala. Oh, oh, I didn't play Madden 06 because of FIFA World Cup 2006. I'm sure the soundtrack was great. Yeah. Madden is meh. It really is now. It's just straight up garbage. I mean, hopefully it gets to be like where it was one day, but you know, I'm not holding my breath. We're just gonna run this way. Let's go. Good job, Goran. Madden 03 was by far my favorite soundtrack wise. I feel you. 03 and 04 both had great soundtracks. And it was the first year they did the EA tracks, yeah. Crap baskets. That didn't work out very well. This is what power football is all about. You got to be able to run between the tackles. Second and 11. Ball on the 45 yard. Oh. The pass falls incomplete. He was about to get rocked anyways. Receiver on the play. What I like was solid as hell as well. Yeah. You have some options as to where you can go with the ball to get the first down. Come on. Come on, Goran. Oh my god, bro. A coach, you got uh, those Maddens are the reason I like Rock Punk. The same, 100% the same. Like being exposed to, like all types of different music as a kid was like so beneficial, which is why I'm thankful for how like the old Madden soundtracks. Oh my God, really? That was me with the wrestling game. Same, same with the wrestling games too. Oh my god, tackle this fucker, bro. Number six on the run. Gain of eight on the play. Second and two. Ball on the forty seven yard line. I get tackle. Number six. What's up, Matt? How's it going, fam? Max, old Madden soundtracks, the only reason I listen to rock music. Hey. I think a lot of people are like that. Like, you know, that was their introduction to, like, new age rock music. Those early EA tracks entries were, like, the ultimate mixtapes for sports gaming. And now, just not ideal. That's the big pro. Like, people want to talk about this, that, and the third. But it's like, I feel like the soundtracks are, like, a big part of, like, the emotional attachment to the Madden games. And now that we don't even have those anymore, it's just like, you know, it's hard to really get invested in, like, Madden like that. I mean, I turn off the soundtrack anyways just because of DC DMCA shit, but... <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god. I mean, it's still great to hear the soundtrack, so. It was all amazing while well, until Madden 13 happened. Yep, and they took out all the soundtracks and whatnot. I'm like, bro, why would y'all do that? Like, that's what really pissed me off about Madden 13, amongst everything else. I'm like, bro, we don't even have the soundtrack anymore. Like, what the hell? Yeah, he did. Just did it better back in the day as far as soundtracks go. Exactly. And now, they don't even put any effort. It's like, do they think people actually don't listen to rock music or pop music anymore? Like, come on, bro. Madden 13 just felt like a huge step down. It, it really was. That's the sad thing. Oh, that that's not a fumble? Okay. Oh, somebody should have picked that off. Who who makes the new ro rock music? A lot of it is metal now. <laughs> but there's some really good bands out nowadays. The Sturb's still going, yeah. I mean, you got I Prevail, uh, I Prevail, you got Bad Omens, you have From Ashes to New, you have, what's his, um, what's that band that, like, th that made that cancel culture song? <laughs> Please name these, I I'm naming them right now. Where, where's my phone at? There are like plenty of bands out there that could make music that would fit well in Madden games. Rock bands, boy bands were a thing. Yeah. Were a thing back then, but now where's the go to? I mean, music as a whole has definitely changed, but it's like there's still plenty of different genres of music they could put into these games. Hell, bro, the Gorillas just dropped a new album not too long ago. Or are dropping an album. If they haven't dropped it already. I just heard the song they did with Thundercat. Oh, I tried. Never heard any of those bands back then, even before listening to Rock on ACDC Green Day. Well, I mean... Rock music in general is just a lot more underground than it is now also, but that doesn't mean they can't put them because a lot of the like a lot of the bands that had songs in the Madden games weren't even like popular bands until they got their songs in Madden. So just because you haven't heard of them and there are plenty of guys, like bands I never heard of before they had songs in Madden. Oh, damn. Here's the thing. They're even going away from the old or or orchestral NFL film style music for the last few Maddens. I couldn't rely on those. I could rely on them being those there despite being off by default. Yeah. You guys know what to do, though. Get them fours in the chat. My fours are up. It's just I'm not on camera today, so can't see them. Oh, we're going to go for it here, bro. I ain't scared. Sometimes the soundtrack features songs that are decades old, exactly. Madden 11 definitely did that. There we go, Fala. You said it, bro. People want to hear trap. Not saying it's good, but that's the thing today. Well, not everybody just wants to hear trap, and I hear a lot more people complaining about the trap, like it being just trap, than like I had before. Like we're we're not like a quiet minority anymore. Oh my God! Catch the fucking ball, bro. Even twelve and ten had some old songs. Yeah, I'm sure. 
I MVP 2004 with bittersweet facts. Number 15 on the carry. No gain on the play. What I like about this play is that as a quarterback, you have some options as to where you can go with the ball to get the first down. Ooh. Oh man, like I'm not even saying that they have to like put no trap music on the <laughs> on the album. This is what they could at least mix it up better. Cause I mean, like, okay, prime time. You know, since, like to your point, sure, that's what they want to hear nowadays. But then, why does 2K have a lot more variants in their soundtrack than Madden? Cause I'm pretty sure there are more people who play 2K who are into that type of shit than there are that play Madden. Like, there's le less of a balance in that regard. Let's go! That was a dot, baby. That is a big dot. Wow, let's get this extra point going. Some songs from Madden 22 soundtrack are starting to grow on me. I haven't played 22 in a minute, so we need that touchdown. Bro, so badly. <laughs> but yeah, like, I get that point, but at the same time, it's just like, and you would think 2K would have a deeper, have like more, a higher percentage of trap music on their soundtrack than Madden would. I'm just saying. Good tackle. Kick off return 17 yards. Number six on the return. I feel you. They'll take over at the 22 yard. Can we get the stop defensively? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Number 84 on the reception. Seven yard gain on the play. I understand what he's saying, but that's not everybody. Yeah, not everybody listens exactly. Not everybody listens to trap. Not everybody enjoys trap. And I think the mix was a lot. There was like a much better mix back in the day. I enjoy trap of his beats. I mean, there's some trap music I enjoy in general, but you know, <laughs> it's not the only thing I want to listen to. But anyways, like the main point is, you know, you can't blame pe you can't blame EA and like people who play Madden on stream who play Mud on stream for people not being able to control themselves, like. Your addictions and your triggers are nobody else's responsibility other than your own. <laughs> like, it's not a content creator. Like, it, I love y'all, and I'm not going to go out of my way to, like, try to, like, trigger y'all into doing anything like that. But it's also not my job to, like, you know, tr you know... It's not my job to cater to anybody's triggers, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you are a recovering alcoholic, and I, I have a stream where I am advertising that I'm drinking alcohol, probably don't want to go to that stream. I'm not going to not do that stream because I know there are people who are recovering. But I'm going to warn you, like, you know, you might not want to come to this stream. And that's, like, that's my prerogative, you know? Like at a certain point, bro, personal responsibility has to come into play. No game on the play. I'd run it down the <laughs> here. Nothing special. But bro, you're right though, yeah. I feel the Eagles. 
What's happening with my... So apparently the new thing for people to shit on EA for is encouraging people to have gambling addictions because of mutt which i think is just probably one of the most outlandish things i've ever heard and a lot of the criticisms for ea are definitely valid but that one isn't in my opinion like i think that's a ridiculous thing to say because then you have to apply that to everybody or to everything i should say like then you have to blame the nfl for encouraging alcoholism and then you have to like you know this is a big play it just becomes a slippery slope because then you have to you have to be consistent with everything you know you can't just shit like you know and it's like you know people will say that and then they'll talk about how they want to go to las vegas and like gamble over there i'm like okay well how are you not bro like you're basically are what you hate like you know stop the cap <laughs> it worked. Let's go. I mean, people just... I mean, it's just a big contradiction, bro. Everybody's just contradicting themselves with this whole thing. Oh, my God. Get it. Good job, 77. But yeah, I mean, that's the whole thing, that's the whole problem with, like, cancel culture and whatnot. It's like, people will do all this moralizing and whatnot, and, like I said earlier, they're not consistent with any of it, so. Tell your kids that this is where they earn their I don't know. It's a weird world we live in. Again, I'm not defending EA. Like, I'm not defending Madden. Like, clearly, I'm not playing it right now, so... Oh my god, really follow? Aren't y'all the same people that try to can Exactly, bro! <laughs> people can't be cons can't be consistent with that either. You definitely see how people get addicted. Me too. But, again. You can't blame EA for that. Like, if, if people are getting addicted to, like, spending their money on mutt packs, that's their own problem. It's like, you know, trying to blame content creators for that is wild. Trying to blame EA themselves for that is wild. You know. Oh my god, really? <laughs> and it's like, I'm just saying, if you're going to blame EA for that, like, you have to be consistent down the line. And it's like, you gotta put the blame on everything like that. And unfortunately, a lot of people are not going to be consistent with that type of thing. Because they're literally just morally grandstanding. It's all just really, it's all just really goofy to me, honestly. All just really goofy. Give me that. Let's go. I can tell you there's people that deserve to be canceled. Exactly. There are absolutely people that need to get... EA is a for-profit company. They want... Exactly. So it's like, yeah, I mean, if you want to boycott it, I'm, I'm in support of boycotting Madden if you don't want to buy it. But sitting here trying to blame people for people not being able to control them, their gambling urges you know that's their own fault so, like, I know it sounds like an evil thing to say but it's just it's the truth of the matter bro you know if you hey I feel you And also, on the gambling front, you don't see none of these people trying to talk it, talk, you don't see none of these people trying to shut down FanDuel or nothing like that. Gotta, gonna say less so, quote is full for, oh damn. 
Nah, you gotta speak on it now, Spec. The quick plan with me, bro. Quick plan with me, bro. Nah, I mean, we gotta stop trying to pick and choose with that type of thing. Like, if you're gonna, like, say it. Also, like, just on the gambling front. They better, like, like I said about FanDuel and DraftKings and whatnot, you, they better have that same energy for them. I don't want to see how you talk, I don't want to see none of these people talking about how, oh, you know, my, I, my parlay, this, that, like, I see you talking about a parlay you have, bro. That just invalidates everything, everything you were grandstanding about against CA. Keep that same energy for New Jersey, Las Vegas, FanDuel, DraftKings. So I'm gonna get exactly Eagles. I'm pissed if I lose 20 bucks at the casino. Exactly. I just think it's goofy as hell that these people are acting like they like you know. That is like the epitome of morally grandstanding. Like y'all are acting like y'all are so outraged by this, but you're just mad because EA is behind it. So we aren't gonna blame Apple for causing. <laughs> Thank you, Lou. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, if I go to the casino, it's with free money and promos they send me. That's, I mean, that still falls under that category, but that's that's valid as hell. Like, don't spend your own money on it. Yeah, I mean, basically my point is people control their own people either control or don't control their own triggers. You know, people having gambling addictions is their own problem, their own fault. Real talk though, I'm upset at whoever invented push notifications. I feel you. <laughs> what happened though, uh, Lou? And push notifications got you. Not even a change of that. Twenty six to seventeen. Well, we got the dub. General venting, I feel you. In general, I can't gamble much at all. Alrighty, let's look at the stats real quick. Keep that same energy you can exactly, Eagles. Talk to him, bro. Talk to him. All right, so Mark Falla, 9-25, 211 yards, two touchdowns on a pick. Chad Powers, 2-5, 31 yards on a pick. Not a great game passing, but Relish had 129 yards on 23 carries. Okay. And then Joe Bush, 5 catches, 113 yards on a touchdown. Tyree Gorn, 4 catches, 101 yards on a touchdown. So we're at 500 now, guys. Let's go. McCray had two picks. Fall out of pick 21 out of pick. Wasn't the prettiest victory, but we won. That's all that matters. They threw four picks. Good lord. Two touchdowns on the ground and 81 yards for number six. Then two sacks. Four sacks in general. To be honest, the whole woke cancel thing sounds like code for what people really want to say, but I have no balls to say exactly. And these people are so sleep. It's not even funny. They're just being a bunch of baby backs. Alrighty, guys, gals, non-binary pals, I'll be right back. Just sit tight, y'all.
Ah, we back. We back. We back. We got a guy that's suspended, but we don't have any points to suspend him for, so. FML. Alright, last game before we switch over to Pokemon, so. Rollins was skipping class, but I can't suspend him. Gotta love it. All right. Full Rollity. So my man Eric B. Enemy finally got a job, though. I keep forgetting the Mississippi State logo was just an angry bulldog going on a morning stroll, right? My man Eric B. Enemy finally got a play calling job. Got a job to call some plays or not. Let's go, B. Enemy. Why you wanna be my beginning of me? Used to be a friend of me, now you're my beginning of me. Alright, so let's see who's on the team. So we got Kane Brown, Corday, Diamond De Shields, Calvin Johnson, Marcos Mion, The Miz, Albert Pujols, Everett Osborne, Ozuna, Guillermo Rodriguez, and Sinquo Walls on one team. On the other team, we have Nikki Jam, Jesser, Simu Liu, Hassan Mihat, Minaj, uh, DK Metcalf, Janelle, Mon Janelle Monet, Arike Ogunboale, 21 Savage, Ryan Vier Singh, and Francis Tiafo, and Alex Toussaint on the other team. Miz is like mid as hell when it comes to being athletic in wrestling, though. Certainly more athletic than me, but it's like that's not saying a whole lot. He's getting paid millions to be more athletic than I am. Tackle Manning. Number twenty-one, the ball carrier, three yards. Like I hope he would would be more athletic than I am. There we go, CT. Good tackle. Number twenty-one on the carry, one yard gain on the play. Third and six. Third and six. Ball on the 22 yard line. Oh, come on. Gotta give me that pick, my boy. Good three and out either way, though. Oh, let's go, Lee. There we go, big shawty. As a coach, you love mismatches. In this case, if the slot guy's covered by the linebacker, you may have a nice play. Ah. Oh. I should have thrown that a little further to the outside, but okay. This is what power Fuck it, man. About. Fuck it. You gotta be able to run between the tackles. Oh, come on. Number 44 with the carry. Three 
yard gain on the play. Tell your kids that this is where they earn their stripes. Paul is so ass, bro. So ass. Number twenty one, the ball carrier. Gain of He's just so ass. Second and four. Ball on the forty. Middle of the fucking football field. Press box and that's where he fucking throws it. Oh, come on, CT. The fastball incomplete. Number 20 on the cover. Third and four. Ball on the 40 yard line. Let's go. Our defense is holding it down at least. Oh my god, Fala. Throw an accurate fucking pass for once in your life. Trash ass. This pitch play is a good call here. I'd get my guy psyched up the block out there. Come the fuck on, man. Real talk. What I like about this play is that as a quarterback, you have some options as to where you can go with the ball to get the first down. On 17. Oh, what a catch. Let's go. Number 17 makes the reception. 31 yard gain on So we just got to keep eating to win, I guess. The quarterback's decision making. I don't know how I completed that, but okay. On the reception, gain of four on the play. As a coach, you gotta be concerned with what the defense is throwing at you. I tell my quarterback to take what the defense is giving you. Go ahead and take that first, baby. There we go. Take what you can get. I'd run the counter and play with the defense a little bit. First and ten. Ball on the 31 yard line. Ooh, good run by Relish. Number two. Mr. Relish. 17 yard gain on the play. When you can smell the end zone, you know you're right there. Now smelling it. And tasting it are two different things. You gotta be able to taste the end zone. Oh, oh my god, Relish. You had to break that boy down like that. What's interesting is that you think it's easier when you get closer. Yeah, cancel culture is absolutely ridiculous, so though. Fast, my friend. People yeah. want to talk about, oh, you know, we're not trying to cancel, you. cancel you. We're just trying to hold to you accountable. Play. There are definitely people in the world who need to be held accountable for the things that they do to people, but it's like, you know. Come on now. This year I watched the Super Bowl at 11.30. Sheesh. Yeah, yeah, I guess it is five hours ahead. Portugal is five hours ahead of us, because y'all are in the same time zone as London. There we go, Addy. Well, I always hated cancel culture, not gonna lie. 
Like, it has its uses. Like, there are definitely people who should be canceled in general, but it's like, there are some people who, they, like, you know, they just get canceled for the dumbest shit. Like, you guys are, I'm sure you guys are hip to who Joey Swole is, right? The dude on TikTok, he basically holds, like, you know, he tries to promote good gym culture and whatnot, and just in general, like, you know, his big thing is, like, you know, do, do better, mind your own business type shit. People are trying to call him a misogynist, talking about how he, like, he comes at women in a certain way. I'm like, bro, like, he be coming for men, too. Like, so y'all never want to talk about how he, y'all never want to talk about the fact that he comes for, like, you know... Y'all never want to come for him when he talks about men, but he talks about women. All of a sudden, he's a misogynist. Like, you're ridiculous. And he literally prefaces every video he makes when it comes to women. Like, he says that, like, you know, there are definitely situations where women are harassed at the gym. But the situations he covers, especially like, the one big one that everybody was talking about, like, it was just the lady was just being a bitch. And she was, like, recording this dude trying to get, like, likes and views or not which one am i talking about so this is the shawty who like recorded who she was doing like the hip thrust or whatnot she was recording a video of a dude like talking about how he's like feral or some shit like that and all he was doing is he just offered to like help her lift up her the, the weight so she, and then she's like you know just being a complete bitch to the camera about it and then he called her out and then all of a sudden people are trying to call him misogynistic like y'all are wild bro like, all he's trying to do is promote good gym culture, and all of a sudden now he's misogynistic. But it's like, on another hand, like, all these women who are making these videos where it's recording dudes doing regular things, just even just glancing at them for a second, so, oh, they're creeping on me at the gym. Like, so, if y'all ever get in a situation where you don't have a spotter and shit, and all of a sudden, like, the weight just crushes you, and they don't help you out... Because they think that they're going to be labeled a creep for doing so. That's all, yo. Like, you won't mess it up for all the women who are not doing things like that. But it's like, now we're at the point where, like, men aren't even going to want to help women out because, oh, if you say anything to a woman in the gym, they're going to automatically call you a creep. Like, you're creating a bad environment for everybody. Like, come on, dog. So he's right to call that type of shit out because it should be called out. Like, Joey Swole is, like, the good good kind of Chad to have around, bro. I mean, it's Swole body as hell, but he's, like, a genu genuinely good person who cares about people. He cares about making the gym a safe place for everybody involved. One of them got in trouble because she made a whole apology. And I think that's the same chick we're talking about. Like, I was just talking about. I'm pretty sure she made an apology video. They got, like, shit on for it. Which is like, you know, good good on her for taking accountability, but it's like, that should have never happened anyways, but, you know. You gotta go out there and compete. Be a competitor. What do I know? I'm just little old Cassie boy, you know? Yeah, I mean, it just sucks that somebody who's genuinely a good person, like, all of, all of a sudden has the label of being misogynistic on them because they called out a few women when they also call out men. Yeah, I can tell you right now, Joey Soul is, like, definitely not misogynistic. You know, y'all are just mad because he's calling people out who do shitty things. You know, and, you know, people just want to throw around any type of label on anybody without actually, like, having a conversation with them. You know, they just, oh, oh, he's doing this. Well, the woman must be in the right. He must be wrong. He's a misogynist. Like, fuck you, bro. Like, that's why I hate society nowadays like you never have like a conversation with anybody without them automatically putting like some kind of label on you like 
You can't have any type of conversation that's conducive to progress in general because you got people on one side and this goes for like this isn't just like people on one side or like this is people on both sides who are like this where it's just like we won't even try to listen to the other person's side and say, like we're just gonna judge them straight up use the word right exactly like you know people just throw throw words they hear around like i don't know I, I'm sure people are gonna say that I've done a lot of it, but it's like I know like the definition of the words that I use like all the buzzwords and whatnot And more times than not I'm using them using them in the right situation So the fact that people want to sit here and try to like give me a hard time for using those words I'm like well, I'm sorry that I'm actually smart and I have a vocabulary like you know Maybe you should get off your fucking ass and actually learn some words of your own that you can use that nobody else is using you know Niggas always got jokes, though, you know. Yard punt, it is what it is. Instead of I'm not going to apologize for actually having some level of intelligence. Like, not, like, actually apologize for it. You know. Step your fucking game up. Also, Merry Christmas. Hey, Merry Christmas. So, exactly, Eagles. You got to be able to run between the tackles. Like, you want to give me a hard time? Merry fucking Christmas to you, bro. I'm not going to apologize for being somewhat intelligent, you know? Number two on the carry. Five-yard gain on the play. I throw the ball quickly, and maybe the receiver can break a few tackles. You never know. Like, literally, like, I, I'm learning, like, a lot of, like, Spanish and whatnot at my job. I was like, I'm not going to apologize for learning Spanish. And speaking to the cooks in Spanish, you know, I'm learning shit. I like learning. Like, the problem is people think like, people get to a certain age and they think they know it all, so they don't feel like they have to learn anything. I enjoy learning shit. So, uh, I, I mean, how did you not get the ball away there? Actually. They act like the main character, like an, exactly, bro. People think, that, people think it's yeah. They think they they got main character, and it's always like the freaking most NPC motherfuckers in the world that think they're just like the main character of everybody's show. Darth Vader rules Star Wars. What's good? So, I believe you're on the dark side. Dark side. Welcome, Lord Beta. 24th was yesterday. Well, happy belated. People are going to do what they gonna, they do. In reality, I'm not, I've been kind of called a ton of things for no good reason. Fuck them, bro. We ball. Fuck them, we ball. Let's go follow. There we go. I mean, if people people who have negative things to say about you, I mean they they're just project oh, the words they're just projecting their own insecurities onto you. That's all it has ever been. You know, all those people who might like you know just in general, all those people that might have said na nasty things about you back in school or used to like you know shit on you, they're projecting their own insecurities because they couldn't be who they really wanted to be in school. So they see you being your authentic self, and they feel the need to shit on you for it, because they realize if they're their real selves in front of the people in school, they're gonna get shit on for it. So it's all a bunch of insecure pieces of shit, you know. Oh, that's Beast Beast Mode. Did you stay changing your name, bro? Lord have mercy. I feel like this is like the fourth, like, I feel like this is like the fourth or fifth name I've seen you have, which is fine. I'm, I'm just like, damn, bro. I thought you were a completely different person. That's, I, that's like my only thing about it is like, I literally didn't realize who you were. Like my fight or flight came up. I thought she was like a troll or something. That's all I don't understand. People who bash depression and bash people that are depressed and does. Oh my god, bro! People used to literally shit on me for being depressed. 
in school because obviously I lived in a time that like mental health wasn't taken seriously and since I had like very strong depression people didn't understand it so they decided hey we don't understand it so we're gonna shit on it you know because that's what high school kids do and I got shit on at home for having depression too like you know it is what it is like you know it's just at this point Suck it up. I mean, that's what people used to say. Suck it up, be a man, all that shit, bro. But it is what it is. Because it's like now I see all these people like talking about how they have depression or they've lost somebody to like, you know, ha having like depression, like being suicidal or not. They've lost people. Like, that's like, I'm not going to laugh at people because I know it's not no joking matter, but it's just, it's hard for me to feel bad. For people who gave me shit for being depressed in school and then have them talk about oh they're depressed and shit like it's it's hard like I literally I'm not saying I don't it's just hard because I look at him like okay oh well you mocked me for being depressed and like you know having cuts on my wrist and shit like that but now you want to talk about you're depressed okay <laughs> like doesn't feel so good does it Hot and kettle breath, exactly. And people can say it's immature to have that bitterness in me. Whether it's mature or not, I don't give a fuck. It is what it is. Because I went through, I got put through a lot of shit that I am still healing from to this day back in school. So, you know, let's go, Paula. Let's get that yx 6 baby. yx 6 baby, let's go. I mean, karma's a bitch, exactly. Nah, fuck that. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm saying, like, you know, and I try not to hold grudges, but it's, like, deep within myself, it is really hard to, like, not look at certain people and be just like, well, this person was pretty fucking terrible to me back, like, at a low point in my life. So it's hard to feel bad when they're going through shit. Like, it, it's really hard to not just be like, uh, well, you know, unfort. I was like, I still try to support, like, the people that I can. It is what it is. But it is very hard to, like, have, like, I literally called somebody out. I'm like, bro, you, you literally used to make fun of me for being depressed, but now you lost somebody to, like, you know. Or you had somebody who was depressed in your family, like, you know. Like, that was at a point where I was just really, like, just angry at the world. And I was like, I called it out. And then, like, they sent me a DM apologizing for it. I'm like, well, like all right, cool. It takes a certain kind of e person to be evil to folks when you know they're going through some bad shit. Yeah, I mean... I went to high school with a whole lot of, like, really shitty people, because my high school really was a mel melting pot. Like, you had, like, I come from a family that's, like, middle class type shit. But it's like, I went to school with a bunch of like, with people who were poor. I went to school with people who were rich, bro. Like, it really was a melting pot. And I got shit on by the, poor, by the, broke, by the broke kids. I got shit on by the rich kids. I wasn't accepted by anybody, bro. Like honestly, like I like pe I know people say that and they're like exaggerate. Like literally, I had so few friends. Like and like you know, and unfortunately in my high school, you know, I was kind of a lol cow as well because I started rapping like my like again in my junior year. My songs were really shitty, and people would listen to them and laugh at me, bro. Like I was literally a fucking lol cow in my high school, so. That in, the, that in and of itself is traumatizing, just having so many people just talk down to you and shit like that. Like, you're a fucking idiot, and you have no feelings, you're just a fucking sponge, and you have to, like, suck it all up. But deep down inside, like, these people are making you feel like shit about yourself. And so I still see people like that, I'm like, bro, fuck all these people, bro. Like, I would never do anything, like, you know, 
crazy or nothing like that. But I think that I'm always going to have that animosity in my heart for those people who were incredibly shitty to me in high school. That's just like the reality. Like, I'm always going to have that animosity in my heart for them. Whether it's good, whether it's bad, it doesn't fucking matter. Like, I'm always going to feel some type of way about how people treated me back then. You know, and I, I've faked it for a very long time. I faked it, but there's all there's always going to be this level of animosity and disdain I have for people for how they treated me back in high school. And people can say, "Well, go see a therapist." Well, no fucking shit. That doesn't mean that it's not going to be there. Like y'all think therapy is going to be like it. That's the problem with people in therapy. Oh, let's, that was a crazy play. Like, that's the problem with people who go through therapy and whatnot. Or, like, not to go through, but that's just the problem with people who talk about therapy. People think that therapy is going to automatically get rid of all that shit. It's always going to be there. <laughs> like, I'll go through therapy, cool, but it's like... I'm never going to not feel like I, like I have animosity towards those people. It's like, I just know that it's like, you know, it's not worth it to, like try to seek revenge on anybody or nothing like that never worth it to like seek out revenge at least not in like the normal form of like revenge some people like try to achieve it in by being successful like that's its own type of revenge even having people get sad like myself i get sad about life and everything and seeing what's going on in the world i feel the eagles <laughs> yeah it's always going to be some level of, Tell your kids that this is where they earn you know, their it's always going to be that monster inside that just, like, once, like, you know, I don't know. That just has so much disdain inside for these people. <laughs> uh, after the people who bullied me for my way, it hurts being made fun of, but I turn that into positive exactly hey and that is a great great message it's like you know use it for fool don't let them feel it don't, don't let them make you feel like shit about it use it for fool like, you use it for fuel use it to better yourself so then once you better yourself you can just give them a huge huge middle finger monster inside so an incredible cast pretty much Oh, just turns Tennessee Titan blue instead of green. <laughs> facts, Lucky. Big facts. First field on him. Let's go, Lee. All right, we're at past midfield. Okay. As a coach, you got to be concerned with what the defense is throwing at you. I tell my quarterback to take what the defense is giving you. My Boston. Oh. Oh my God! What a dot! What a dot! The Lobos uh, mas uh, mascot is just not happy about it right now. He is just upset. Well, I didn't expect to blow out New Mexico like this, but here we are. <laughs> I don't remember you talked about it, like, about, like, people who used to mock everyone... Some people now like it, and it's funny when you say that it's somewhat true. I can mostly, yeah, exactly. I'm 
mean, yeah, people are like real shitty to me in high school, so it is what it is. I mean. I believe this, I'm just like, why do you care so much? Like you care that someone is an anime fan to the point you will bully them. Then you're gonna bully somebody who's depressed, exactly. And I love, and I mean, not like actually love, but it's like the fact that there are people, so many people out here talking about, you weren't bullied because you watched anime. You were bullied because you did the Naruto run away. Like, shut the fuck up, bro. Like, Y'all just feel bad because you actually, like, bullied those people. <laughs> Y'all just have bullies remorse at this point. Where you f now you feel bad about bullying people for being anime fans. Where you want to try to gaslight people into believing that, oh, you know, we used to not. Like, no. I, have, I went to high school with a lot of different people from different walks of life. There was not a single person I ever saw doing the Naruto run. And Naruto was around back then, too, so it's like, y'all are just capping because y'all want to feel bad. There's no excuse for being a bully towards anyone. Exactly. Then y'all used to hate video games, too, until Fortnite came, and then you, yeah, exactly. Now, all of a sudden, video games are cool because people can make money about money from it. Like, suck my fucking cock, bro. Now, all of a sudden, people are making money, like livable wage playing video games and now y'all think this shit's cool like fuck out of here like y'all wanted to call me a nerd because i like playing video games as a kid but now all of a sudden it's profitable and now it's cool like fuck you bro <laughs> it is what it is i'm, I'm glad like I, i'm letting this these clips go because I feel like a lot of this shit needs to be said oh yeah I got the side eye over video games when I was in school but then again I'm a bit older oh uh, yeah I'm telling you man like a lot of miserable pieces of shit gotta love people these days exactly the revisionist history is wild. What's up, Royce? Welcome into the stream. Oh my god, bro. Really? I, I think one thing I definitely regret in high school is just not kicking... Not just like, you know, smacking the shit out of more people that deserved it. Nah, I was dying when I heard they said you were... You, exactly. Like, who the... Like, nobody was doing the Naruto run in high school, bro. Don't fucking lie. <laughs> and if it was anybody, it was like a very rare occurrence. Like, y'all just don't want to take responsibility for how you treated people. That's all it comes down to. Clearly a normal like and also that's a reason to bully somebody like even if that is true It's not a reason to fucking bully somebody Like the fuck Y'all just like to justify being shitty behavior like being like shitty to people. That's all I don't care how, ju how people justify it It's like or like how like I don't like it's like people want to sit here talking about oh, you know we should look more into like why people do it. like no. We shouldn't look more people more into why people do it. We should look into well, people need to stop being shitty to other others for any reason. Period. Like you know, there is no looking at the other side, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> In that situation, at least, I don't think there's any looking looking into the other side. Like trying to understand why people are bullies. Like I know why people are bullies because because of some kind of insecurity in their head. Like you know. <laughs> It's as simple as that, because genuinely happy people don't go out of their way to try to destroy others. And at the end of the day, like, 
That's all there is to it. Bro, this is not an anime. We are not going to look at their backstory like it's some villain, bro. Calm down. It's not them. Exactly. It's, time to it's not complicated. Don't be shitty to other people. Exactly. And anime is fire. Do you be happy? Life comes quick. Before you know it, your time's up. Enjoy your time. Well, egg exact mundo. <laughs> Subscribe. Thank you so much, Royce. I appreciate you. Welcome to the Cray Click. But yeah, like, Long Beach Griffey was one of the guys who made, like, a video talking about, oh, you know, you didn't get bullied because you watched it. Like, no, bro. That I lost, like, I still rock with Long Beach Griffey, but he definitely lost some points with me for that video. Because I'm like, bro, did you just used to be a bully back then? And that's why you're trying to cape for these motherfuckers? Like, there is no good reason to bully somebody. I had a new thing is kids are getting bullied because their parents are doing OnlyFans and something like that. Like, well, this is a new, oh, my mom's a porn star, so now I'm getting bullied for that, huh? The wild thing is, it's just like, it's a good percentage of women nowadays. Like, not a good percentage, but it's like enough of a percentage of women who like do OnlyFans and whatnot, where it's like, now kids are gonna be able to like bond over in 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 their own way. Oh god. Third, yeah, let's go option here. I mean, me personally, I support whatever people want to do. People want to do an do OnlyFans, like I say, go for it. Yeah. Hey, it might not be a good practice. I might not support, it, but make your money. I mean, I feel you. Do what you do, people. Exactly. Cause you think about it, like, you know, how much different is making an OnlyFans from like being a streamer type shit. Like, we're both considered by, like, you know, the older generations to not actually be, like, real jobs, quote-unquote. You know? <laughs> and just one is, like, more sexual than the other. Well, one is, like, just saying the quiet part out loud in a lot of situations, but, you know. But yeah, like, get a real job. Like, bitch, the money that I made during COVID was pretty fucking real. Fuck my, I have a job. Like, fuck out of here. It's like last time I checked, bro. Like I have to pay more in taxes because I do content creation. So, the well, fuck are you talking about? This ain't a real job. Like, granted, I can write a lot of shit off, but it's like, you know, this shit shows up on my fucking taxes. So, if anybody wants to say this isn't a real job, they can eat a dick. Cause this shit show like I have to file like uh, the I, the ten ninety nine or whatever it's called. Because I do content creation and because I make money off content creation. But my tax situation is not like the same as the rest of these motherfuckers who want to talk about, oh, it's not a real job. That money is real though. <laughs> oh my god, get it. No! Kicked it over to him. Like, that's just like. I think. Like, the streaming slash, like. SW isn't a real job shit is like starting to like really fall under the whole wrestling is fake category like I literally like especially now that I actually started doing this shit like I had a table like this like these regulars who always came in every Wednesday and because I can't watch AEW at home <laughs> why is nobody here this is a good live stream uh, some of these people are on Twitch I'm actually live on both Twitch and YouTube Royce but yeah I also would make the argument that I'm usually not as animated as I am today. I just, like, there was just something in the air. Maybe it's just because I decided not to be on cam today, but it's just something in the air, bro, you know? 
But yeah, it's like, bro, as much like, I've thrown away my social life for content creation for a while, bro. I've thrown away so many different things that I had going on just to do this content creation shit. Just to make like a little smidge in every two months. Like, I don't make a whole lot of money off of this shit, but it's like, I still have to report it on my taxes, and I still have to claim it, so... For people to sit here and say that this ain't a real job, like, just because I'm not making, like, big money off of it... Like... Come on now. Trust me, if Uncle Sam wants his cut, it's a real job. Facts, Austin. Big facts. Let that shit rip, you know, exactly. Um... What was I gonna say? See how many hours FGS has spent on content creation, so those are things I wish I, I was at. Exactly, bro. I love the play action fast. Like, people want to talk about how content creation is not a real job. I'm like, well, you wouldn't last one day doing what the fuck I do. Like, on, like, a dedicated day with content creation, so get the fuck out of my face. That's why I'm saying, like, it's falling under the category of, like, when idiots say wrestling is fake. It's like, bro, like, you're so uneducated, Doug. Don't fucking ever tell me that wrestling is fake, because I will school your ass. I will literally spend a good hour talking your ear off about how it's not, you know... <laughs> tell all these wrestlers that are all fucked up from wrestling that that shit's fake, bro. You know, people are just ignorant as fuck, that's all. I just hate rude people in general, bro. Like, I, I genuinely, I genuinely just hate rude people in general. <laughs> like, when a city is talking about, oh, oh, wrestling's fake. Like, fuck you. It's like if you watch Marvel, you talking about wrestling's fake. Like, go fuck yourself. <laughs> like, if you you like reading all this Marvel and DC comic shit. And then got the audacity to say wrestling was fake. Like, you can go fuck yourself. Like, most media nowadays in general, like, you watching The Walking Dead, do you think The Walking Dead's real? Like, are you watching the new The Last of Us shit? Oh, you think that's real, bro? I don't see no walkers outside. I don't see no infected inside, so what the fuck you talking about? I mean, that should be P.I., but okay. I asked Cody Rhodes why his chest was black and black. It was makeup, Spectre. It was just makeup. Like, bro, eat a dick. When people started saying that, like, that he was wearing makeup on his chest and that injury wasn't was being exaggerated, I'm like, fuck off, y'all. Like, really? Like, y'all sound like the, pe the exact people that we don't like when they be talking about how wrestling's fake and shit. Like, y'all sound exactly like them. And he was gone for how long? Bro, he was gone. Let's see. So, Hell in a Cell was, like, June, July. So, I mean, he he missed, like, a good five or six months. Six or seven months. <laughs> Hell in a Cell was, in, was during the summer. Because Cody got hurt, I think, like, literally, like, a week before or after Punk got hurt. So... We didn't get the summer of Punk, and then Punk decided to be, decided, decided to go in the business for himself after that. Well, even if the combat isn't real, it still takes hours and hours of training to do what they do. Like, bro, just what I'm doing in training. Like, I'm not even doing anything physical yet, but it's like I've had to learn how to do neck bridges, and there are a lot of flips I can't do, like a lot of different roles I'm not great at either. Like, bro... I challenge anybody who thinks wrestling is fake to just go to wrestling school for a day. Like, literally go to a workshop for a day. <laughs> like, and tell me that wrestling's fake, bro. Take a bump on that mat. Like, an actual bump on that mat. Tell me wrestling's fake. And also, if you're too old to take a bump, then sit down and shut the fuck up, bro. <laughs> It's like, I know people are going to say, oh, you shouldn't care about what other people think. Well, you shouldn't care what I think either, then. You shouldn't care that I'm speaking on it, either. Best stream, bro. I was bored. You made my day. Any, hey, you know, 
All in a day's work, Royce, you know? I heard how Hogan said it was fake, and a guy basically pulled his leg into cl being close to Shad. <laughs> Goddamn. I mean, fuck Hulk Hogan, but, you know, I definitely respect what he's done for the business. But he is a bigoted piece of shit, though, so fuck him. This boils down to people wanting to feel superior to others about something, anything to make themselves feel better. Like, yeah, bro, like, honestly, you know, like, people want to talk about small dick energy or whatever. I feel like when some people, somebody says wrestling's fake, I feel like that's just, like, real small dick energy. And the travel leaving your family behind is definitely real. Exactly, bro. Like, you literally are on the road pretty much, like, 90% of the year. Although AEW is a lot more chill than WWE is in that regard, to where some of them only are traveling like what, like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. <laughs> but even then, like they have like AEW allows like their talent that book like, they like have matches and other promotions and whatnot. So it's like even then, like they're also traveling to other places for their promotion or like other promotions. So. Like literally Eddie Kingston. I mean he's he's not really on AEW's programming that much anymore anyways, but it's like he's having a match in New Japan this weekend against uh Switch Switchblade J White, so oh, Bush. Oh my god, Bush, let's go. Alright, y'all. I know the game is <laughs> pretty much in hand, but put them fours in the chat. And after this quarter, we're going to play some Pokemans. Oh, Relish, you are a dog, bro. Let's go. That is a beast mode run right there. <laughs> you think I'd want you to go for two here? Uh -uh. No way. Alrighty, 38 to 7. tackle <laughs> yeah like I can't stand with like you know now that I'm actually doing like the wrestling thing man people saying that wrestling is fake or calling like wrestling fake in any capacity I just have a zero tolerance for it at this point like I, I, I'm going to g-check the fuck out of you if you say some dumb shit like that to me like, or I'm just going to tell you, well, go to a class then if you think it's fake. Or just shut the fuck up, like, you know. But you're not going to disrespect something that I do. And I don't think the lady that I was referring to even, un even knows that I'm doing wrestling training. But it's like, don't, like, at this point, you disrespect wrestling in front of me. Like, you're going to have a long conversation with me because... I don't play about, about that shit, bro. Like, you can be ignorant somewhere the fuck else, bro. Like, go be ignorant anywhere else, but not in my presence. The fuck? I can't even waste my energy on these, you know, wrestling is fake types anymore. <laughs> I got, well, here's the problem, man. I got time and I want all the smoke. 
I got time and I want all the fucking smoke. <laughs> You think you're under? What happened, as Guardian? <laughs> oh no! What the, what did old fork knife do? Come at me, bro! Quick play with me, a. Hey. Let him know, Spectre. <laughs> Teammate was being a dumb butt. What did he do? Or or what did they do? I should say. He said, fuck, fuck pimp night at this point. Say, like, quick playing with me, pimp night. Say it ain't so. Oh, oh. As guardians, not playing pimp night no more. As guardians, not playing pimp night no more. Oh. Say it ain't so. Oh, oh. Hey, you better throw that bitch away. He ain't playing Pimp Night no more. <laughs> Say it ain't so. Oh, oh, oh. Da, 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 da. There we go, Manning. Say it ain't so. Whoa, whoa. Oh, y'all going for it, huh? Let's go. Oh, you want to throw? You thought it was pi. You thought it was. You thought it was. You thought it was. You bitch. You thought it was. Bitch, you thought it was. Sounds like you got clanked, good lord. 2v2 at the final ring. My teammate rushes the opponent without communicating it with me. Gets killed, blames me, then I get rushed by the last guy. I'm down to five shots in a, sh in a shoddy, on uneven terrain. I get sent flying into the storm, getting killed. Oh, and fucking fort. See, TAP, I think you just gotta play with like the, the Pimp Knight gang at this point. Like, FG. Lou, Walty, Hobie, Spectre, and all them. Because they seem to at least have, like, you know, have fun playing Fortnite where they don't, they're not, like, I've played Fortnite with them, like, back in the day. Like, none of them are, like, sweaty as fuck. Walter is, like, a terrible communicator, but he's gotten better, apparently. But, yeah, like, I would say just link up, click up with the Pimp Knight, click, and then T-Clank's with them, too. I said Lou already, but yeah, Lou, Spectre, Spectre, they all play with him. Just gotta get better people to play with. I hate playing with sweaty ass motherfuckers. All in all, came down to me having shit weapons. Hey, I feel you. There we go, Bush.
Oh, Addy's in the game. Ooh, look at Addy. Alrighty, bro, I'm out. It's 2.27. Austin, enjoy the rest of your time in Portugal, my dude. Great to see you as always. And you have a good night. Fala, let's go. No sportsmanship, baby. Well, we walked into their trap. And then we took their trap. We took over their trap, I should say. Had the Deku smash, a single charge, blue tack pistol, and a myth pump that for some reason refused to damage opponents. I don't even know. I hated the pump shotgun when I played in Fortnite. I like the assault shotty instead. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I'll hop on some Fortnite with you guys eventually. <laughs> I haven't played Fortnite in forever, so I'm probably going to be like a weeble wobble at it, but you know, I'll still play it. Good hit. I'm probably never playing Fortnite on stream just because. I uh, mean, Fortnite and like COD have never really done very well on on stream when I played them. I don't want to damage like. I mean, I might I, I'd play it on the backup channel if anything. Like I'd play it on the Gym Leader Cast channel on YouTube, and Twitch. I don't. I'm literally just streaming on Twitch just to kind of like milk what I can out of Twitch, and hopefully encourage people to come to YouTube as well. But we'll see. YouTube is always going to be like my main platform though. There's McCray getting the pick. And now we'll just continue to run the clock down. Let's go Relish. We tried to juke him. Every time after a very intense matchup, my heart rate, man. That's the only reason I need to stop playing it. I feel you. <laughs> I feel like that's like the same thing with people who play horror games. Like they're like literally streamers who play nothing but horror games. And it's just like, bro, like y'all must, y'all, y'all hearts must just despise you, bro. Two thirty one. Hello, as guardian. That's that's not good, man. That's like higher, like, that's a higher BPM than what I usually get, like, when I'm running outside. 231 is crazy. Like, you, like, at max, I get to, like, 180. Yeah, you might have to just uh, retire Fortnite at that point, bro. 231 is definitely way too, way too high. That that sounds like the danger, bro. That is like big time danger zone. That is big time danger zone right there. <laughs> like I had to look that up real quick. All right, so key. All right. BP. Average heart BP. Like on average. Like as guardian, I'm assuming that you're like on like you're around my age now i'd say for people who are 40 average uh max heart rate is like 180 and the target heart rate is 90 to 153 so 230 is is crazy it can get intense i i can imagine 
Yeah, 230. What was it again? 231. Oh, okay. Well, that's game. Have a good one, bro, bro. You as well, Mr. Casual. Mr. Dirty Casual. I did see you were playing some, uh, you were doing a hardcore Nuzlocke randomizer in Ruby and Sapphire yesterday. Hope that's going well. We're over 500 now, guys. We're five and four. I'm proud of this team. Because we were going through it early in the season. Now we're getting it together. And what in the fudge nuggets happened happen with the Sam? Okay. Bro, I can't adjust like the well, anything right now. What is going on with this? What the fuck? Ah, I see what happened. There we go. Let's adjust it. <laughs> you don't know if you're on that back that bounce back like Big Sean. We took four L's in a row and then we bounced back. Although Fala has to work on his completion percentage, but relish Two straight games at least with 100, 100 yards rushing. Let's go. Devin Fala had nine tackles, three tackles or loss, a sack, and a pick. Garcia also had a pick, and so did McCray. Four sacks as well. Addy had a touchdown. And then receiving-wise, Boston, Gorin, and Fala all had touchdowns. And... Armin made an extra point. I made seven extra points in a field goal. We win fifty two to seven. That's a pretty dope screen here right there. Oh fuck. Oh, uh, we gotta highlight this bad boy. Also, my man Elite is in the building. The Elite. The the Elite. Excuse me for a minute, I'm gonna go yeet my heart rate back to normal. I got you. But the elite, the the elite, the elite, the the elite, super kick party. <laughs> Alrighty, so for everybody on YouTube right now, I'm gonna need you guys to hop over to the Pokemon side. Oh, I I didn't mean to post that whole thing. We'll see. Just want to post this. But yeah, go drop a like on this stream real quick and then go hop over to the second channel because that's where we're going we're gonna to be starting off over there. So I'm about to end the stream on the YouTube side for a second, then we're going to switch over to the Gym Leader Kaz YouTube for the, red, the Hardcore Nuzlocke and Pokemon Fire Red. <laughs> but either way, we're going to just take a quick break. Regardless, just so I can move around laundry and whatnot, but we will be right back. <laughs> 